Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. passage to read so i'm going to read very first it's in first john the entirety of chapter three if you are set let's go see what love the father has given us that we should be called children of god and so we are the reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know him beloved we are god's children now and it does not yet appear what we shall be but we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is, and everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. Everyone who commits sin is guilty of lawlessness. Sin is lawlessness. You know that he appeared to take away sins, and in him there is no sin. No one who abides in him sins. No one who sins has either seen him or known him. Little children, let no one deceive you. He who does right is righteous, as he is righteous. He who commits sin is of the devil, for the devil has seen from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the works of the devil. No one born of God commits sin, for God's nature abides in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. By this it may be seen who are the children of God and who are the children of the devil. Whoever does not do right is not of God, nor he who does not love his brother. For this is the message which you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another and not be like Cain who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not wonder, brethren, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life because we love the brethren. He who does not love abides in death. Anyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren but if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need yet closes his heart against him how does god's love abide in him little children let us not love in word or speech but in deed and in truth by this we shall know that we are of the truth and reassure our hearts before him. Whenever our hearts condemn us, for God is greater than our hearts and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence before God and will receive from him whatever we ask because we keep his commandments and do what please him. And this is the, his commandment that we should believe in the name of his son Jesus Christ and love one another just as he has commanded us. All who keep his commandments abide in him and he in them 
And by this we know that he abides in us by the spirit which he has given us. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So God's love for his children is what we are discussing. And from what we have read, I mean, it's abundantly clear that giving his life and making himself the sacrifice for your sin and for my sin, the atonement and for the remissions of your sins and my sins is the greatest love that anybody can imagine or can give. And that's why John 3, 16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him might have eternal life and not taste of death. And this is the kind of love that we should also have one to another so that we should show forth God's love. The way God shows his love for his children, we should also show love one to another. And that is what makes us Christians. Because as a Christian, you are a little Christ. That is why Christians were first called, called Christians in Antioch, because they were behaving to the type of Jesus Christ when he walked the surface of the earth. And him showing forth that much love giving his life, manifesting God's love for his children, is what we are also calling you to do today. Show love to your neighbors. Show love to people that work together in your, with you in your office. Show love to people that you encounter on the road. Help one another. Make life easier for people around you. Let people be able to rely on you and depend on you for making things better for them. That is following Christ and being like God who gave God's love for his children. So my brother, I want to invite you that you also come and begin to enjoy God's love for his children by joining his family and being one of his children that you may also begin to dwell in his glory and invite others to also be part of the big family because there is more than enough room for everybody in that big family of God's children to whom he shows love by the day. If you are ready for that experience, you want to give your life to Christ, just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord, I have heard about your love for your children. Therefore, I come to you today that you give me the grace to also begin to enjoy from that love. I want to give my life to you. Forgive me of my sinful past. Take my life. Renew everything that has to do with my life. And let me from today also begin to enjoy God's love for his children. I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, you're welcome into the kingdom. Begin to enjoy the love because it's at your disposal right and straight away like that. And I enjoin you that you join a Bible-believing church close to you, an Anglican church if possible. And if you're in Oshun, come to the Anglican church or Oroki Estate Extension, Oshobo, where you can continue to enjoy, enjoy God's love for his children. And for the rest of us, let's say this prayer together. Say, Dear Father, please increase my knowledge and understanding as well as growth and grace to love the more and to draw many more to Christ, I pray in Jesus' name. So go out today, see how many more people that you can show love to, see how many you can draw to Christ, see how many you can manifest God's love for his children to, so that many more can be drawn to Christ, and that the name of the Lord may be glorified in many more homes, in many more hearts, and God will bless you as you do that in Jesus' name. Amen. I judge you faithful I call you faithful I call you good You are good You are good Say